I chose pharmacy because it truly is an impactful pr profession. You're a healthcare provider that focuses on one main area, and that's medications. The infectious disease pharmacist is responsible for the medications and all the implications associated with the medications and providing that particular consult to the physician, especially with very difficult cases. An infectious disease pharmacist can certainly work with patients that are in the hospital. Oftentimes, infectious disease pharmacists are integral parts of the healthcare team that's providing care for patients that um, have HIV. They're also heavily involved in research, they're involved in drug development, they're involved in pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics of anti-infectives. My advice to students that are interested in infectious diseases is to pursue a one-year general practice residency followed by either a one-year residency that specializes in infectious diseases or a two-year fellowship. I am oftentimes focused on drug-induced diseases. Let me give you an example. I had a 26-year-old girl that came in with 25 different symptoms. Hi Mrs. Chow, I'm Dr. Floria. I'm the pharmacist. I work with Dr. Kurtz. I have today with me a student from Loma Linda University, Hi. Carissa Jogsma. Is it okay if she sits in while we discuss your sure. medications? Sure. She had been to 34 specialists from the Mayo Clinic to Johns Hopkins to Cleveland Clinic to UCLA and no one was able to identify the cause of her symptoms. As the pharmacist, I was able to identify that her prior use of Accutane, of the medication Accutane, caused genetic mutations that ultimately led to her symptoms. Once we identified that Accutane was the root of the problem, the patient was able to take this information to her specialist and seek further treatment. 